Hello everyone, Roby here, and I'll be showcasing a um, build that primarily uses a shield. Now let's see how it goes here. A prison eternal! guys through the build itself. Uh, the build itself is, as usual, pretty simple. And essentially what the build does is that it relies on reflecting damage back at the attacker. Now with regular mobs, the reflect um, is a lot um, is a lot a lot more evident because um, compared to bosses, um, regular mobs don't have that much health. Up real quick. There we go. Okay, and so let me go ahead and showcase the um, the build itself in regards to what it entails. Let's start with the stats first. Um, the stat distribution is um, mainly um, health and strength. Health just to have enough of a buffer to be able to take hits uh, without being one shot. Um, your strength is. Um, Putting points into strength, it could be into any other, it could be into dexterity, intelligence, or faith. It just depends on the weapon you choose to use. Um, I built this. Um, this build is designed to be as cheap as possible. I'm using a blood rusted sword, which is a sword you can purchase from the blacksmith in town. Um, you can start using this sword from level one, and this sword is pretty cheap to acquire and also to enhance to try and get the desired passive rolls you want on the sword itself. That's why I'm using it. And that sword uses strength as its damage modifier. That's why I have a lot of points into strength over here. Now, um, I also put some points into focus. So I have um, enough focus to be able to use abilities if I need to. You don't necessarily have to put that much points into focus if you not be using any rune ability. Now, equip load is just to make sure I'm not over encumbered. As you can see, I'm pretty heavy. I'm a 93% heavy with my um, current weight at 298, almost 300. Now, in regards to, if you go on, uh, look at where it says general here, you can see my hit points is just 186, stamina is just 88, focus is just 200, with a focus gain of 28. And my armor is 964, with a um, poise of 33. And then I have high resistances and all elements there to help negate elemental damage. Now, in regards to um, the sword, um, 
this are the stats on it. I have um, 3% health on damage dealt, 8% focus on damage dealt. And that's the reason as to why whenever I hit the enemy, I'm able to regain health pretty quickly because of this. Um, I have, it's basically just passives to replenish my health if I need it, and also passives to replenish my focus if I need it. Now, um, the extra cold damage is just for CCing abilities, um, CCing options, that's all that is there for. Now, on this sword, I'm also using the um, a regular throw. It's not a fire throw, it's not a plague throw, it's not a ice throw, it's just a regular throw. And that is because I already have extra cold damage on the sword already, it rolled with it. And so if I do need to do a quick ranged attack, I have that option available to me. Now, the other reason as to why throw works really well with regenerating your health and your focus is because with any of the throw runes, it hits enemies multiple times when it's going and when it's coming back. That's the reason as to why it's pretty good. It's a really good rune. Now, the other swords I have here, they're just stat sticks, really, to help with stuff. The shield um, that helps with the reflect is the uh, is Faustus Barricade. I can see that it deals 15 damage on block, and I also roll a gem, but with my luck, I rolled the lower end of the roll there, which is just one damage. And then um, I gain nine focus whenever I block attacks also. Now in regards to my gear, you will notice a pattern in regards to very specific roles or attribute roles, um, sorry, passive roles I'm looking for. And so the first one is chance to gain a percentage health on damage taken. What that means is that anytime I take damage, um, the game rolls the die or I get a chance roll to see if I'm going to replenish health and uh, the percentage amount determines the amount of health I'll get back. Now since most enemies hit um, pretty rapidly this really helps a lot too. Now I'll uh, one of the attribute um, passives I also have in here to help with reflecting damage which is um, is the 3% damage taken gets reflected back on wherever the enemy is. Hence why I call the build the Uno Reverse or um, the Uno Reverse build basically. So any enemy dishes out damage to me, I reflect the, enemy, uh, the damage right back at them. Now, um, the same thing with my chest piece, you see it has 9% um, chance to get 9% health and damage taken. I also have a 4% damage dealt on damage taken. And um, I also have a little bit of healing effectiveness over there. Now you notice that on both the helmet and the chest piece, I also have resistances, like I said. And I keep emphasizing, it's really good to start adding, um, getting gear or using gear that has elemental uh, resistances on them to help negate against elemental damage. Now in regards to my gloves, you see the same thing. I have resistances on it. I have chance to gain 13% health and damage taken. Um, I also have reflect damage on it too. And then on the pants, I have 10% health on damage taken. Um, I have focus gain by 28%. I also have reflect damage. I notice on all three pieces of gear, I have, um, reflect, well, actually, I have reflect damage on three pieces of gear, but I have the percentage health on damage taken on all four of them. Essentially what that also does is that whenever I get will that or when I get, whenever I get hit, like I explained earlier, there's a chance to gain L back on that. Now in regards to the um, the rings I'm using, I'm using a fierce ring which increases my armor and also my damage dealt. Majority of the damage I'm doing is physical damage, which this applies to. I'm also using a snake ring and if you look at the recent hotfix, hotfix, hotfix 6 that was released about an hour or so ago before this video, and also Hotfix 5 that I released earlier today, um, there were changes made to, or balancing changes made to Snake Ring and a few other rings out there. Uh, snake ring, the Snake Ring being one of them, wherein it blocks attacks. Um, so when blocking attack, you either take or deal damage. So, and says right in tooltip, it inflicts damage on foes with every attack blocked. So each time I block an attack, damage gets reflected back to them and stuff like that. But also incur damage in return too. Now the damage I I incur from this, that's what the healing stuff is supposed to help with to help top off my health. Now um, the Tissa ring also, I have um, a chance to either take or deal damage and damage taken. Um, and it says right there too, deals extra damage to the enemies, but also hurts self on each hit given. 
And so these two rings, um, it'll dish out damage, uh, reflect damage back, but you're also going to take damage on yourself. And so that's why you need to have a means to get your health topped off. Uh, one of the, and that's also one of the reasons as to why the 3% health to damage dealt is pretty important. Uh, that's why I noticed that I'm also attacking, not just standing still and blocking throughout the fight itself. And that's how I'm able to top off health. Now, once in a while, uh, you might uh, you might take a ridiculous amount of damage or you might get a, a ridiculous amount of incoming damage. And so that's the reason as to why you, might, you need to have healing potions to build, uh, well, healing food to be able to top off your health. Now, in regards to food items I'm using, I'm using two in particular. The first one is the sirloin platter, and that is to help increase my health a little bit more. And it gives me 45 extra health for 600 seconds, which is 10 whole minutes. And the second one I have here is in regards to increasing my focus by um, 100. And the reason why is because here, where is it? You notice on the helmet here, one of the negatives I have is my focus is cut in half. And so this um, apple pie is pretty important there because I get 100 focus points for 10 whole minutes, which is 600 seconds. Now, um, other than that, I have focus, uh, Valor focus, focus potions if I need to use one during a fight, but that's about it really. That's the entirety of the fight itself, and that's the entirety of this build too. Um, this build is not going to clear any speedruns at all, no. It's a, it's a much slower build. For starters, you can't you, you won't be moving as fast because of how heavy you are. And also, too, you're blocking most attacks, you know, and you still attack, too. It's just that you're not overly aggressive like other builds like the Mage build or the Archer build I uh, posted a few days ago. But that's it, guys. Um, my Uno Reverse build, or my, um, lack of better, my um, Damage Reflection build. And that's it. And so, oh, actually, before I forget, one other thing you can also do, which I had on my stat stick and I didn't even apply during the fight, is if you want to boost the amount of um, damage being reflected back, you notice that this stat stick also has thorns on it, the thorns run on it, and also the damage surge. So before the fight starts, you want to, let me show you what I do. And so you want to go and apply thorns on yourself, and you also want to go ahead and apply that on yourself. Um, at um, increased damage dealt on yourself uh, before you fight, like um, start a boss encounter and stuff like that, to help with damage reflection and also damage you're doing. And because, because remember, each damage you do, you also use that to regain focus and also health back. Uh, and that's it, guys. And so, um, that's it for me. Like I said again, you guys have a um, wonderful rest of your day and happy gaming, everyone. Peace.